I'm Brad Call. Uh, this is uh, Call Family Distillers, uh, located in Wilkesboro, North Carolina, uh, better known as the moonshine capital of the world. Wilkes County has a, a pretty deep-rooted history in moonshine. Most notably, it's it's the birthplace of NASCAR, which uh, you know was born out of the guys that ran the moonshine, you know, racing their cars to see who had the, the best moonshine hauler. Within our distillery, and then our owner uh, Brian Call, his dad, you know, being Willie Clay Call, who is a a pretty famous moonshiner of this area it is what we really want to promote within our distillery is that heritage of you know making the moonshine uh, but also being on the hauling end of it he was uh, notorious for being called the uncatchable uh, that name was given to him by the revenuers in the area and the reason that Wilkes County is known as the moonshine capital of the world was it was dubbed that by the revenuers uh, from the 50s and 60s who were stationed in this part uh, who just could not seem to uh, eradicate at all or even hardly put a dent in uh, what was the moonshining culture. We're going to come out with a line of uh, moonshine products. It's going to be based on uh, Willie Clay Call's recipe. It's uh, Willie Clay Call's The Uncatchable Sour Mash Moonshine. We have plans to do uh, authentic fruit brandies, so we're going to be doing a fruit mash and, and distilling that. Um, we've got plans to put back some whiskey and make some bourbons. So whiskey, bourbon, and brandy, that's what we've got on the horizon. I heard about Moonshine University uh, just actually through a Google search. Very catchy name there, Moonshine University. I'd never heard of anything like that in my life. Once I went through the program and got set up there, uh, it, was, it was definitely what I was hoping and imagining it to be. It was very hands-on and everything, which was very awesome because that was you know, one of the first times I'd ever been able to deal with any industry equipment and, and actually you know, see with your own two eyes is, is worth you know, a million bucks. Brian may ask me, well, what would they do at the university? You know, do you remember what they were doing there? And it, it's been endlessly helpful from what I took away from there, for sure. All of our mash barrels are made out of uh, clear white pine. They're a thousand gallon mash barrels. I got 600 foot of one inch copper coils in the cooler. And I was going to use a stainless barrel for the cooler, but stainless sweats when you're running cold water through it. And you see we use the white pine barrel for the cooler too. And even if that cooler gets hot, it don't sweat on the outside. I designed the steel. We had Vendom Copper and Brass to build it out of Kentucky. We nicknamed her Steel the Bull. That was my dad's nickname when he was making moonshine out in the woods. They called him Bull. So he always taught me that if you ain't gonna do it right, don't do it. And that's kind of the mindset I had when we was putting all this together. I think it's turned out pretty good. Clay, there was a time that he was uh, running up through there and a famous NASCAR driver at the time, Fred Lorenz, was out there doing his uh, practice laps and Clay cut onto the track there, you know, loaded down with his moonshine and outran Fred Lorenz lap after lap on the track there in his moonshine car. So uh, a lot of people would ask, you know, Clay, why, did, why don't you get into NASCAR, why didn't you race? And he would say, well, there wasn't enough money in it. That was on our bottle there, yeah, seven generations, just to uh, go back to uh, Reverend Dan Call that uh, taught Jack Daniels how to make whiskey, and that's as sort of the deep-rooted history that we have in the whiskey business, and then just the, the local lore of, of what, you know, Willie Clay and uh, his family did to preserve the heritage, yeah. This is, you know, some of the best product that you know about, but you just don't see it yet, so now we're going to put it out there.